Hey guys, this is Mr. Gadget Mix. So today we are going to do a disassembly of my Lenovo 100S IdeaPad, and I want to replace its battery because I apparently I have a bloated battery. So I wanted to change it. So I first took the screws out, and here you see the bloated battery, the original Lenovo battery, which has got bloated within three years of usage. Now I like to baby care my laptops but for some reason this battery got bloated maybe due to overcharging I don't know but I have been using this laptop pretty extensively from the past three years so this is the connector which we need to unplug the battery secured by four screws as well and this is not the ribbon we, which you should be disconnecting. So, yeah, there are four screws. You need to unscrew them to take the battery assembly out. It sucks that the manufacturer these days are not going for the removal batteries. I mean, I have, still have my ThinkPad and I am able to just change the battery easily. But the newer ThinkPad model, even they have internal batteries. It sucks that they have made these things so difficult for the end user. I mean, I'm a, I'm a computer guy. I mean, I have been messing with the technology stuff from the past a decade or so. But I don't think if a normal Joe would be comfortable doing things like that. Anyway, we are now unscrewing the screws. Uh, this let's disconnect this as well the ribbon you should never use a laptop if it has developed a bloated battery because it's a significant um, health hazard it can explode also so never use a laptop if you if it has developed a bloated battery So I've just received the battery from a manufacturer in China. This is some paperwork and here's the actual battery. This is the third party battery. This is not the original battery. But I did not have any options so I hope it works. Cost me about um, about forty dollars including shipping and it took around a month or so to reach my place fortunately I did not have to pay any custom duty so that's good this is how it looks like so let's again open the laptop and fit it in Okay, so let's fit in the battery. Mm. Okay. So I think it goes this way. So there are holes here and I must place the battery exactly over these holes. Okay. Um, I think you should start from the top right and then move for the move towards the other holes. Yep, now it looks okay. Yep, and this is the battery connector, it has battered an overhead here. So, what I will do is 
I will probably slide it in. Mm, which way is the right way? Check the. Oh, I think I'm putting in the wrong way. Is it the right way? Um, I have forgotten because it took so much time for the battery to arrive. Okay, this one, it looks like this is the way to go. It's not that straightforward. Oh, it's going inside, so I think this is the way it is, it is supposed to go in. Yeah, it's going inside. And bingo, we are in. So now the battery is connected. We'll press, press it up a little bit. And then we'll close the casing. Just press it on the sides. So everything clicks. Okay, so far so good, yeah. New battery. Former Lenovo 100S idea pad. So let's see if the battery has some juice in it. Sorry. So, here you go. I really hope the battery has some juice, otherwise, I'll have to charge it. Holding the power button for a few seconds. No, it did not work. So, I think I have to connect my charger. So, now I'm connecting the charger. Let's see if the charging light comes up. Hope it does. Let me press the power button. Maybe we should wait for a few seconds. I don't know. I don't see any signs of life here. Nope, it's not working. So maybe I should just let it charge for a few minutes or so. Okay, now I got it why I was not able to switch it on. I had actually connected it the other way. So what I did, what I had actually done was, I had inserted it from the other side and for some reason it never complained. I, mean, I did not face any difficulty in putting, it, putting the opposite side of the connector in. So that was the reason why I was not able to get my laptop on. Once I flipped it, and this is the right way to do it okay so this is the right way to do it if you don't put the connectors in correct way in correct direction you won't be able to get the new battery charged and of course you won't be able to get the laptop on so that is how you replace the battery on the Lenovo IdeaPad and as this tutorial will also work uh, for the 110s and 130s because they have similar internal architecture only the battery is different right hope you like this video and uh, smash that like button uh, if you found it really useful and stay subscribe for more technology news and reviews bye bye